It's a rough day here. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day celebrating if that's what you do or whatever you are planning for today, enjoying and making memories. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Tosh here. I am here today with my December Ipsy unbagging. Um, it came so late, I literally just got it yesterday for the month of December. Um, so definitely later than normal for Ipsy, but that's okay. We know everything's a little bit behind right now. For those of you that are back again, I am so grateful for you and thank you so much for joining me again today. I love that you are part of the family and watching my videos and then being so supportive. I am just so, so grateful. I did do a giveaway video and put it up um, this past Tuesday. I ha So please, if you have won and there were three um, different winners, make sure you send me your email so that I can get in touch with you to coordinate delivery for those giveaway boxes. Um, for those of you that are new here, my name is Tasha and typically on my channel I do all things makeup. Um, I did do a big giveaway. I'll do another big one when I hit 100. So join, subscribe, join the family. Um, and without any more talk, let's go ahead and jump into Ipsy. So I did not finish all of my face because I did want to go ahead and put the products on so that you can see how they perform and kind of get a quick assessment. I am also doing a wear test of a new foundation on today. So that will be the next video after this. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the bag. I do really like the bag. This is the December bag and it is a pink kind of glittery bag. I was a little surprised. I was thinking it would be more Christmas-y, um, but it says time to shine in December. So sparkling, shimmering, and totally unforgettable. And that's kind of how they got this. It does have on the inside your beauty horoscope. I am an Aries. It says, let your drive and determination guide your color choices, go bold. Um, and there are quite a few other than there that I think is super cute. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the products. Um, I do have on my phone the, so I have the app, which I actually love. I wish BoxyCharm would create an app for it. I do think the Ipsy app is great. I do have the Ipsy Glam bag, which I think is recently increased. So now it's about $13 with shipping and everything. And you get all sample sizes, occasionally a full size product. Um, so here is my December glam bag. So the first thing that I'm going to pull out of here is the Marine Care. This is an eye cream. Um, and so this spot is by Hamish and it is marine water, fermented seaweed extract, niacinamide and peptide. So all of those things kind of help brighten, um, help with discoloration. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. It does have a seal, which you all know I love, love, love. I am going to put a little bit out. Oh, it is a thick cream too. Check that out. I don't know if you can see that. I just put a little bit out. Um, that is actually probably more than enough for both eyes. And it is kind of a green tint. Uh, it doesn't smell like anything at all. Let's rub this out right here. It is very, very creamy and very, very balmy. And now that I have it rubbed out, it smells like super florally perfume. So not a big fan of that, particularly under the under eyes. I don't like any kind of product under the under eyes or even face in general, but especially under eyes that is really, really scented um, because I am a little bit sensitive to scents. So I will probably pass this along. This is not something that I will consistently use. I do like how thick of a balm it is. I would wonder though with as thick of a balm as it is, if you could wear it under makeup, this is probably something that you would need to put on at nighttime. Um, next product that we have in here is, oh, a hand cream. This is the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. It is called Sea Kissed. I actually have another Ahava hand cream that is the mineral sea ones that I got from Ipsy several, several months ago. Um, it's nice hand cream. Um, I, you know, it's a hand cream though. It's a hand cream. Uh, typically they do have a seal, so I'm not gonna open this one. I'm gonna put it in the next giveaway because I have a whole one already. It is nice. It's a hand cream. Yeah, you know. 
another product in here that is skincare. It is the smallest, smallest sample of the Ultra Repair Oat and Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil from First Aid Beauty. Um, so Cannabis Sativa, oh, yeah, wow, I couldn't even say this. Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil is from cannabis, of course. It is supposed to be healing. It is supposed to be calming. Um, to help redness. Um, they, I'm sure, have it mixed with different things like oat, which is also a calming thing, and some different hydrating products on there. Um, let's go ahead and open this up because I, of course, will use it. It is very thin. You can see it almost is like water, even though they say it is supposed to be an oil. Oh, that was silly. I should have put it on this hand. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this hand so I can actually smell it. and it doesn't smell like anything. It is very, very thin. You can rub it in, but it is that oil base, so you want to put this on. I, I kind of do my skincare a little different. You know, a lot of people say that you put the oil on, then the moisturizer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I do think oil tends to be more of a, an insulator, something that keeps things in, so I will put oil, especially if it has squalene or those kinds of things on last, to kind of seal everything in. I do understand that it may not penetrate the skin as much, so if you're having products like this that you really want to be effective on the skin, you may want to change the order that you do your skincare and do it sooner versus later. Um, I am sure this is a very expensive product, but I think this is a super, super small sample. I mean, very small. Even though you don't need a lot of it, and I get that, it is still extremely small. Um, so, so far, three products, and we haven't gotten anything on our face. It's all skincare. Um, I put on my Ipsy um, personalization, I don't want skincare. I want makeup focused. Um, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> we do have the last two makeup products. So the um, next thing that I pulled out here is the MTU NYC Eyeshadow Duo. Um, it is a kind of a brownie. It, I like the packaging. I like the clear idea. That's my thing, that's my jam, I like it. I like to see what's going on. You have a matte brown here and you have a pink shimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. So here is the matte brown and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right there. It is pretty powdery. It does have some good pigment, but it is very, very powdery. And now let's go ahead and swatch this pink one. I'm gonna swatch it underneath, make sure I get it in the right place. And that's a beautiful shimmer. Again, it's not as creamy or smooth as typical shimmers, but it is pretty. It is a duo. I think that it would have been nice if this pink were just a smidge lighter because this is a pretty dark eye look if you're going to only use this to make an eye look, which is kind of the point of having a, a split pan idea that's that you take with you. Um, so we'll, we'll put that on in just a minute. The next product that I have is a lip pencil and this is by, as I almost drop it, by Vintage. Um, the color is beautiful. It is this kind of dusty rose, which is colors that I like. Let's go ahead and try and get this open. I just did my nails, so I, I don't know that I'm going to get this open. Hang on. Took a little bit there, but I do have it open. Um, it is a wooden pencil, which is fine. You just sharpen it. Let's go ahead and just swatch it right here. That is a, a super dry pencil. Um, it is a very pretty color, but it is not so much a dusty rose, but more of like a kind of a bricky dusty rose. I know that's a weird description. Um, we will put this on the lips and try it and see how long it lasts. It is supposed to be uh, it doesn't say much on here. It, it is by Jessica and I can't read the last name, but Vintage is the brand. So let's go ahead and, and I do have one more thing that I did add my personalized, I mean, a pop-on, whatever you call it, add-on thing. Um, I have never tried the Thrive Beauty Mascara that is a cult classic that everyone raves about. It is one of those ones that um, is a tubular mascara, so it kind of encapsulates your um, lashes. Um, and tends not to flake as much as some other mascaras because it does that. Uh, it is not hard to take off at night. I know that everyone raves about it. I love the packaging, the teal and the silver, again, definitely my jam. 
Um, so we will try this as well. It is supposed to have orchid stem cell extract to help with the health of your lashes and those kind of things. Um, so let me grab a mirror and get a little bit closer and let's do eyes, lips, and mascara real quick. So I was just talking for like 10 minutes and I guess I didn't hit the record button. At any rate, I haven't started anything. <laughs> I did say I do have the Real Her palette that I got in one of the other Boxy Charms that I may supplement with this eye look. Um, but let's go in with the M2U NYC palette. I am dipped into this brown shade already that I'm gonna put in my crease. And I was saying I really enjoy an angled brush for me. I have hooded eyes and I feel like this gives me a lot of control in the crease area. So we literally are just gonna put this in the crease and just kind of blend it out a little bit. Um, it is not super pigmented and so people feel different ways about that. Some people really like things that aren't really pigmented because it gives you the flexibility to build it up. Some people like things that are a little more pigmented so it might not take as much work when you're laying down the product. Um, this definitely is not. I've dipped in quite a bit with my brush and it is not super, super dark. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a look with these two shadows first and give it, let you see what it looks like and just super, super basic. I'm gonna do kind of the brown, um, put some of the um, rose shimmer on the eyelid and, and then stop at that point because that would typically be the eye look if this is all you brought with you. Um, so let's go ahead and do the other side real quick as well. I'm gonna get it right in that crease. Um, although I did say that it was a little bit dry feeling, I feel like it's blending out fine. It's not giving me any problems there. Ooh, girl, I need to do my eyebrows. Didn't realize how bad they were until I'm looking in the mirror. Sorry, y'all. And I do have a big fluffy brush that I'm just going to kind of blend all this out, blend the edges out a little bit. So that is the brown. Not a bad color. You know, I am going to go ahead and use a um, just a pointed brush and I'm going to lay down some of this rose gold and I think I'm going to do it with my finger actually, not with the brush because it is a shimmer and we're just going to lay it kind of there. Okay, so again, if this is all you had, this is pretty much your... This is pretty much your eye look. I do, my fingers don't fit in those little corners, so sometimes I have to get a little brush to get that inside area and make sure it's placed all over correctly. I do think it definitely applies better with your finger than with the brush, um, but that's the case with a lot of metallics. Um, so there it is, very basic. Um, it doesn't look bad, but it's not something that I would do. Again, I wish there was a lighter color versus this dark pink. Um, shimmer, it's a beautiful shimmer, uh, don't get me wrong, I like it, but if you only have two colors to choose from, um, something that was a little lighter and maybe more tan-ish might give a really nice two shadow look. I'm going to go ahead and put in some of these lighter colors kind of into the inside of my corner to brighten things up so that we are not quite so dark. I'm going to use my hand and clean this off since I don't have anything, and I'm going to dip into dream right there and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner. This is kind of an iridescent color that is a little unique, I think, for this palette. Um, it actually is beautiful. These are so much creamier than that M2U shades that we just put on our eyelids. Um, and you can see that that lightened it up a little bit, lightened the inside corner. I and again, I, I love this dream color right here in this Real Her. Again, super, super creamy, and when you put it on, it is that beautiful shimmer, although in the pan it doesn't look so. It is just gorgeous. That's what I put on that inner corner right there over the rose gold, and you can see it just lightened it up a little bit, enough that it kind of blended everything together. Um, I do like that so much better. This is not awful. I would not purchase it myself. Um, I mean, especially when you can get other palettes like um, ColourPop or e.l.f. Uh, cosmetics that are four pan 
shadows in a similar packaging for what are they five or six dollars i might even have that wrong it might be less than that um, they perform beautifully i would probably pick those over this but that's my personal opinion next thing do let's line our lips and then we'll put on this mascara and see how all of that works so again using this vintage oh <laughs> So like I said, it is not creamy. It does pull on your lips and it is pointy and hurts. Um, my lips, as you can see, are, oh, <laughs> I had eyeshadow on my finger and I just rubbed. <laughs> okay, we'll have to go back and fix that. At any rate, I had eyeshadow on my finger from doing this and I just rubbed it on to get a spot of the yeah, we'll fix it in a minute. At any rate, it is very sharp and pointy, but it does, it is a pretty color. My lips, unfortunately, though, are so dry all of the time, but particularly in the winter, that when I have a dry liner, it just makes my poor lips so dry. Um, we are going to grab a, I am going to grab a gloss real quick um, and come back and let me fix the spot that I messed up on my foundation and then we'll apply the mascara. Decided instead of getting a gloss, I'm going to use my Urban Decay um, lipstick. I do have a review on this up on my channel. It is the new formulation for the Urban Decay lipsticks um, and it is in the shade What's Your Sign? It is matte though. Um, let me go ahead and curl lashes. Let's put the mascara on real quick. And this is the Thrive Mascara that is new to me that everyone raves about. Curled my lashes real quick. And so it is a bristle, uh, a plastic bristle wand. Um, very similar to the Sky High, if anyone's used that, the Sky High mascara. And I'm just going to go ahead and work it into my lashes here. Because it is a tubing mascara, it is supposed to help extend your lashes. So that's one coat on one side. Let's let that dry for a second. We'll add another coat and leave this without so you can kind of see the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Again, it's the What's Your Sign. That is the shade right there. Um, and I'm just gonna put this right on. It is very, very creamy. I do like this. It is not a long lasting lipstick, but it is pretty. I love the tube. I love this color, so there's that. Let's go ahead and put another coat on here. Hmm, and that's two coats. Uh, so I don't know if you can see that right there. That's pretty impressive. I do like that. Let's go ahead and coat the other eye and then I'll kind of give you my final thoughts on this bag real quick while I am putting this on and talking. What did you guys get in your Ipsy bags? Were there a lot of makeup products? Um, that is the one thing that I notice with Ipsy. I don't get to see as many of the variation options as there are on BoxyCharm. Usually on BoxyCharm I see either on their Instagram page or through other people that are doing the unboxings or those kind of things that there are tons and tons of different products and tons and tons of options for what box variation you can get. I don't know for Ipsy if there are how many options there are or or not. Did that even make sense? I hope that made sense. I kind of really like that mascara. We'll see how that wears. Um, let's talk about box overall. Um, for my, my bag overall. For my bag for December, I am not super impressed. Three of the items are skincare, and like I said in my um, review, I said I really prefer more makeup, almost all makeup, based focus, that kind of thing. And when three of the five products are skincare, 
Um, <clears throat> I kind of get a little funny. I get that way with BoxyCharm. I get that way with everyone. I, if I say I want makeup, I really want makeup. I promise I want makeup. The um, eye cream, although it is super thick, I still smell that florally smell. It is super strong and overpowering. I would never use this under my eyes. Like I said, the, the hand cream is really, really nice. It is very hydrating. I do notice it does take a little bit of time to sink in when I use the um, other one. It's, it's the same exact, hang on, I'll, I'll show you. It's just in a different packaging. I think it's a different flavor, not flavor, but um, I think it's just a different smell. So here's the one that I have before. It is the Ahava Mineral Hand Cream Dead Sea Water. This is the Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream, but it is in Sun Kissed. So it's like a different scent, um, but this is super nice. I do have it more than halfway gone, so I have used it quite a bit. It does take a little bit of time to sink in when I use it, but I do feel like it hydrates my hands. So that's really, really nice. Would I ever spend money specifically on a hand cream? No, probably not. I'm, uh, um, I forget her name and I will put it in my description box. She has a great YouTube channel that talks about skincare that is very, very science-based. I'm a science girl. I know I'm a science nerd, but it talks about how a lot of the hand creams are the same ingredients as the body creams, just packaged in a different package and sold at a higher price. Granted, there are some hand creams that are really, really great, but for me, I typically just buy the super hydrating skin lotion. Um, and use that as a hand cream versus spending so much on a hand cream. So here's two of the products that I would say, no, I probably wouldn't repurchase. Um, I can't give much opinion on this. I do typically love First Aid Beauty. I love their Ultra Repair Cream. I love their primer. Um, I do enjoy their products. So I certainly will try this. I do think it's super, super chintzy small for the sample size, although I know it's cannabis sativa seed oil. Okay. Yeah, so, so there's those two. Um, I do not like the eyeshadow. Um, I think that for the quality and the quantity, you are better off buying e.l.f., BH Cosmetics, those kind of things that have a better quality that are a little, even ColourPop that's a little pricier, that are creamy, um, that are super nice and that have more color options versus just two. If this were different color choices, I Okay, I know everything looks different. Unfortunately, my camera battery died and I didn't have a replacement charge, even though I thought I did. Anyways, now that we're back, what I was just saying is I probably wouldn't purchase this. I would purchase something um, from another brand that was better. Mm, better is not the word. That I liked better, but that's my personal opinion. I just think there are better quality items out there. And then the last item that I received in the box that was, that was something falling, that was makeup item was this lip liner. I do really like the color. Um, I can't speak to how long it lasts, but I do know it is a little dry. Again, I think that there are better options that are at a drugstore price or even at a luxury price. This is not probably something that I personally would purchase. However, for those of you that maybe have oily lips or that kind of a challenge, this is not a bad option because it is a little bit of a drier formula um, so that it might hold up longer for you. That is my opinion on my December Ipsy Glam bag. Drop me a line, let me know what you guys thought about your glam bags or whatever level of Ipsy that you received. Are there things that you're loving? Thank you so much for joining me today. I loved having you here with me. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.